Raw after WrestleMania is a special night. We all wonder what will happen and who will return at that night. But I can assure you, you can already forget about your Goldbergs, Hardys, Tonkolas because that will not happen. But then again, if it does, then I will get a lot of heat. I'm just trying to help out, but uh, think what you want, you really won't be disappointed. WWE would never disappoint the fans. Yeah, it was kind of depressing, so let's get to the good stuff. Top 5 things that could happen at Raw after WrestleMania. Number 5. WrestleMania rematches. It's fun to see WrestleMania rematches. Especially if your favorite superstar lost at WrestleMania, you can watch him get his revenge at Raw. But keep in mind that when I say WrestleMania rematches, I don't have Shane McMahon vs Undertaker, Roman Reigns vs Triple H in mind, because these matches are too big for the Raw. But I think it's possible to see New Day vs League of Nations, Ryback vs Kalisto, or some Divas matches. I mean, they should make matches that everybody would be happy. I mean, put Alicia Fox and Eva Marie in a match and I would... I would probably stop watching wrestling. I mean, that would probably traumatize me for life. And I wouldn't be able to take those five minutes of my life. This video is kind of depressing. Other than that, New Day, Divas, we could have pretty good matches on Raw. Number 4, Roman Reigns getting booed at his own championship coronation or a heel turn. I'm pretty sure that if Roman Reigns wins the title, he will get booed out of the building. And the only way to avoid cringe-worthy situation is to make Roman Reigns heal. Or do something stupid like, look at the Titan Tron, it's Seth Rollins' dick. I mean, that would work. Roman Reigns' heel turn or Seth Rollins' pictures. Is it weird right now that I don't even know which one I would like to see at Raw? Okay, let's stick to the Roman Reigns' heel turn for now. Number 3, Finn Balor's debut. There has always been a debut of NXT Superstar after WrestleMania. And I think the best debut this year would be Finn Balor's. There is no better place than Raw after WrestleMania to debut, because he would get a huge crowd reaction. If I had the ability to pick who do I want to debut, I would probably choose Finn Balor. But hey, there is always a possibility for your Goldberg. Number 2, the end of authority and Shane McMahon as the general manager of Raw. I like the authority, it's entertaining, it's fun, but we need a change. And the change is Shane McMahon. Now, I don't think that Shane will win at WrestleMania, but it's still a possibility. I think it's a huge possibility, but we shouldn't get our hopes up. Number one, and it's number one because I'm pretty sure that it will happen, is the best crowd of the year. Not this year, I mean calendar year. Good spelling. So get your ears checked for the best crowd of the year, because you will probably hear chants like Holy shit, this is bullshit, boring, Hulk Hogan, complete random shit, or hey, even Chris Benoit, even though I have no idea what does that mean. That's it for today, make sure to comment what do you want to see at Raw after Wrestlemania. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. Yeah, I'm wasting your time, I want you to follow me on Twitter. And if you want your wrestling videos to be in front of 20,000 subscribers on YouTube, make sure to go to the People's Channel and you will find more information here. The Great One, peace, love and hugs. It's been a pleasure.